Hey guys, we got the possible leak of the Battle Royal Pass of what the items you can get. Uh, keep in mind, this could be fake. Someone could have made this up and uh, it's not legit. But with that being said, we can take a look. First off, I want a special shout out to MSI, my sponsor, and as well as Elgato. Uh, description in below. So this was posted by Terminal Potato. I don't know where the original uh, picture came from, so... Uh, let me know if you want me credit you. Okay, so let's take a look at this close range here. So you got the Invi International, um, excuse me, Invitational 19 Battle Royale Pass and the Paris Major. Uh, it's five months duration and revenue. Now, the reason why I think this is uh, p might be fake is because they said next season they're going to do a one week event and it's free for everyone and in the following season they're going to do a full battle royale pass after they use next season as a test so this is a little bit too early of a concept for me and that's why i think it's photoshopped now we can see all the way uh, up to level 75 where you can get a chachanka elite bundle the the thing about this is there i heard they're reworking to chanka and a couple other operators so we're not 100 percent sure but then you get an announcer pack um the thing is i don't remember in the game they ever have an announcer uh similar to what they did in uh well dota 2 they have announcer you know your heroes dies and things like that but there i don't think that's really in siege or like round one or have music playing like counter-strike mvp status uh going so that'll be a new introduction if they do include that um the current prize pool and then you can place bets uh team skins and pro league skins and then you get a r6 spray and then a legendary alpha pack so the, the weird thing about this I have about this is because they said there's going to be two tiers. One tier for regular uh, people who don't buy the pass, which is you get less gears and, and it's usually on top. And then the premium tier is you buy the Battle Royale Pass and that's on bomb. And I don't see two tiers here. That's why I think it's fake uh, with that being said. But what do you guys think about this overall idea of Battle Royale Pass? You know, people have been talking about they hate the idea of Battle Royale Pass because, you know, Fortnite and other Battle Royales uses it. Uh, but the thing is, this is my opinion. With, ba uh, with Battle Royale Passes, is it's free. You get free cosmetics and it, it, it motivates you. The idea of whole whole thing is makes you um, Ubisoft makes money off of skins and it gets you keep playing the game, just unlock higher tier. So it's free and I don't see it hurting anyone. Uh, so why not have a battle royal pass you know get more unique skins just put more flair on your character and make the game more enjoyable most people also say they should include this with a season pass well i don't think so uh being uh realistic about this because when you when they first offer the season pass they're going to tell they tell you what you're going to get and they they deliver on those to include an additional separate system into battle royal pass it's nice it'd be cool it's cool and ubisoft does it i think that's a win for the gamers especially but is not something that you should expect when you buy a, a season pass uh, earlier in the year. But, you know, maybe next year they could do a, a, a bundle where they said if you buy Battle Royale Pass and Season Pass, you get like 15% off. And it's cheaper than buying them both separately. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, with that being said, uh, I will probably be giving away some free Battle Royale Pass so you guys are subscribed, have notification bell, and follow my Facebook page and Instagram. Uh, I'll be dropping out uh, codes for that as well. All right, see you guys next time.